Okay, we're back. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Wait, my bot still hasn't pinged my server. Bot's dying. Uh, holy moly, Mr. Petrov, thank you so much for two months. Uh, for four months in a row, thank you so much. And Chortle my Squirtle with the 25 gifted subs. Oh my gosh. And Mazers. Uh, welcome back for two months. Thank you, thank you. Ham Kenobi, welcome back for eight months. Oh, we have Cheyoungi in chat. Hello, Mr. Cheyoungi. If you guys don't know who Cheyoungi is, that's a person you guys need to uh, know. He's probably in a lot of other Twitch streams. And he'll ban you guys if you guys misbehave. He's a he's a worldwide famous mod. <laughs> Wait, you're coming to TwitchCon, Cheongi? Oh, am I gonna see you? You're flying all the way here for TwitchCon 2019. Holy moly! Ooh, hopefully I get to meet you then. Hmm, bot still hasn't pinged. Sounds like we have something in common. Wait, are you also coming? You're not coming to TwitchCon, are you, Soren? Are you flying out here for TwitchCon? Oh. But I can ban people. <laughs> Uh, whoa, no keto. Thank you so much for the 300 bits. Thank you. Thank you Sorat ain't going anywhere move into offline TV house. That's not something I can decide Improvade welcome back for six months How are you doing Improvade? GG with the intro that was the last thing I expected to have you know, I had to do it Dixie Wow the bot still has not pinged my server. How's everyone's Friday doing? Are you feeling bad for this intro? No, I love that intro. We have Will, but two. Hello, hello. Was that your band? No, that was not me singing. That was not me. That was that was Dixie Mac singing. <laughs> that was not me. Oh whoa, flood control! Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Nokito. Bot is sleeping, huh? I feel like the bot just died. Should we double? Ping. Bot so inconsistent. Will you show us Bauer today? Ooh, I don't know. I told Dixie I'd build it on Sunday. Do you guys want to see it tonight? Should I give a tease? <laughs> Leak. Tyson, hello, hello. Yes, please. I'm very heavily considering. <laughs> Tech Vulture, thank you so much for uh, two months. Thank you, thank you. Bauer looks really nice, though. I took a peek. It's pretty nice. I'm excited for it. Which keyboard does Scar get? You will find out tomorrow. So tomorrow, we're going to be building Scar's keyboard. So you guys will find out what the man himself is going to use. Supposedly, he's been using the same keyboard for 15 years. So, he splurged on this. <laughs> Zeras, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Please, Senpai, show us Bauer. We'll see, we'll see. Josepher G, thank you so much for the tier one sub. What do you think about Kyro Saran 22? I love Kyro Saran 22. I would love to meet Kyro Saran and hang out with him and play with his collection, but he just lives too far from me. Yeah, I've I've actually I've talked to him a couple times on both text 
Desk Authority and Twitter. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> uh, Sazi, thank you so much for the 100 bits. And Pumpkin, welcome back for three months. His voice is godlike? Yeah, Cairo Saran's voice. I wish I had his voice. His voice is so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I did not miss Kelly. I'm just kidding. Kelly, thank you so much for the 1400 bits. Dixie says 24,000 bits donated and I get permission. Ooh. 24,000. I don't want to make a counter right now though. One person has to donate 24,000. How about that? Just because I'm too lazy to make a. Wait, a deep voice like you? Ooh, do you have a deep voice too, Cheongi? Do you know who Cairo Strand is, Cheongi? I don't know if you're into the keyboard hobby, but. Uh, Gasp, welcome back for two months. Cairo Strand has like a god tier voice. Ooh, Dixie, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Thank you, thank you. Has the bot still not pinged? Oh, it did ping. Thank. Okay, we'll give it a couple more minutes. Couple more minutes. Both well, hello. All right, let's take. Hopefully, Cairo Strand is okay with me doing this. But let's take a listen. Time to get my weekly drug of tire types tire rude. Kairos brand 22. Let's let's give people who don't know who Kairos. I mean, who if you're in the keyboard community, you know who Kairos Strand is. But let's see, since we have some people who aren't in it, uh, he hasn't done a review in a while. Ah, please don't sue me, Mr. Kairos Strand. Sorry for stealing your content, but. Finally, I get to show you one of these. His voice. The SSK is a 10 keyless version of the well known Model M enhanced keyboard. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, what's happening? happening? What's happening? Of all time. These keyboards. Why so many gifts? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much for the five gift of subs. Uh. MK Tyson also gifting five subs. What the heck? Thank you so much. Uh, Brohemoth, welcome back for four months. And Kim Jong un, <laughs> my favorite dictator. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, Mizun, welcome back for four months in a row. And TO6 Laser, thank you so much for the one bit. But yeah, if you guys don't know who Cairo Strand is, his voice is godlike. Can you guys hear the video? It's too quiet. Reviews, but they do have one trait that some people find a little bit annoying. It's almost half a meter long. Yikes. By the way, for those who don't know what half a meter is, that's roughly the combined length of 30 imperial penises. Oh, shoot. What? Wait, what? Kairos, please? Kairos, please? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. Uh, Delhi, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Top clack, hello! Thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream went well. Oh, I was not expecting that. That's the video I haven't seen from Cairo Strand yet, and I did not know he said that. Hopefully this stream wasn't tagged as family friendly. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I had Cairo Strand's voice. If I had Cairo Strand's voice, I would legitimately. Well, Sushi, welcome back for three months. Another gift from Lock Cody. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs, Lock Cody. 
Oh, we have Ed too. Hey, Ed, how'd your stream go? Uh, what was the thing? If I had Cairo Saran's voice, TBH, I would sell out and make ASMR videos. If Cairo Saran did ASMR videos, I feel like he would be a top tier ASMR person. But I don't have his voice, so I can't sell out. Unfortunate. Uh, King Jung Un, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, Top Clock, welcome back for six months. I just built my first ISO board. I saw. <laughs> Dang. <clears throat> Brian finally caved in to Team ISO. I have I have yet to build an ISO board, but I I do have one in the pipeline. Someone did request an ISO build. So my my ISO cherry will be popped soon. Ice swallow semen nine. Thank you so much for the follow. J Wordfish, thank you so much for 100 bits and 159. Welcome back for eight months. <laughs> All right, it's been long enough. Let's get to the unboxing. So today we are looking at the Reborn. Oh my gosh, what the heck? ハハハ揺れてポーズ。ジムジャルロビン。アンコナコナコナトゥタジチジマルパラパラパラバチャクミアナノルコネコネコネチンジャネマムルバモルオネオネオネテミ。アソングイズ。アソングイズ。アソング
Bernelli sand. It's in the build command. So the main case color is a Bernelli sand. Um, this green was color matched to, not color matched, but it's a custom mix, I think. This is this is supposed to be some kind of green that's supposed to complement the green in 9009. And then the plate is a custom pink, rose gold, whatever color. That's also supposed to complement 9009. Um, and I'm guessing this Bernelli sand is supposed, Benelli, Benelli is supposed to complement a OG beige color-ish set. So we'll probably, hopefully that's what chat chooses to put on. I feel like we'll, we'll check out what 9009 looks on this. But look at this. It's got a nice Pokeball weight. How many Pokemon nerds in chat? Who is playing Pokemon Go still? I have never played Pokemon Go. Okay. So that looks pretty... No matter what lighting angle... It's pretty well color matched. There's no mismatching top and bottom. Actually, yeah. If it looks off, it's just because of the lighting and the way the light is hitting the board. But um, the nice thing about Cerakote is it's a lot easier to color match, in my opinion, I think, than anodization. And this has a pretty nice and decent uh, finish. I have felt. Oh, okay, so the bottom's kind of rough. Yeah, so on the bottom, there's like areas where it feels grainier. But like the seam here, the seam, the edges feel pretty smooth. The bottom a little rough, but it's on the bottom. Yeah, but at least the edges you would most likely touch, like the top surface. It's actually pretty it's not bad it's not bad there's i've definitely felt worse cerakote so far it feels pretty nice that moment when the best part of anno on your board is the bottom what it's 4 20 a.m and i'm dying of three days lack of sleep so all the best i'll try to pop by more often thank you for stopping by Tiangi. well glad to have you and thank you for the gift of subs hope you have a good one should go to sleep. <laughs> uh, does the color look like the G80 case color? I couldn't tell you Kafka Pro. I don't have a G80 in person. It's been a long time since that, since I've seen one in person, so can't really say off the top of my head. <laughs> um, sup, sup, sup. Andrew, welcome back for two months. But for the price, I don't think I would complain. I I don't remember what Tyson's prices are off the top of my head, but they're not that expensive. His first round was like ridiculously cheap. I think like 30 or 40 bucks to get it Cerakoted, right? Um, and the nice thing about Cerakote, it's also um, a lot more durable. Like you still shouldn't be dropping boards, but you can you can be a lot more aggressive with Cerakote uh, coatings. So that's another feature I do like about Cerakote. And then we're gonna see the Bower on Sunday as well, which should feature a cool Cerakote as well. All right, all right. Let us open this board. Where did you get that NASA desk mat? This is from novelkeys.xyz, one of my sponsors. I believe it is currently still in stock and you can use promo code NK space types to get 5% off. All right, oh, no bump bonds. I wasn't sent bump bonds, I don't think. So if you are watching client, I don't have bump bonds. I'm guessing you have the bump bonds. Not a big deal. 
and to 6 laser thank you so much for the 99 bits gotta go to sleep 5 25 a.m see you tomorrow have a good one to 6 laser yes the first round prices started at 35 but had to go up because the shop started to raise the prices okay there you go well chat uh, MK Tyson in chat is the person who offers these Cerakote services. So if you guys are interested um, in Cerakoting your keyboards, he is the man to reach out to. You. Yeah. But hopefully Cerakote becomes more pre uh, becomes more prevalent uh, moving forward. Because you can also achieve um, a lot more colors, easier through Cerakote as well. There's just a lot of benefits to Cerakote. So I, I would like to see more Cerakote uh, finishes being offered for boot by boys. I uh, gotta go. Good luck with Bill. Thank you for stopping by, J Word Fish. Have a good one. <laughs> Round two prices will start at $60 for a 60% and go up from there. $60 for a 60%, mm, that's not too bad either. I mean, anything's cheap compared to what I did for my salamander. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I just have, maybe I'm just very jaded by paying a lot for uh, nice finishes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too familiar with uh, Cerakote services, so. Love your strings <sighs> so much. Quick question, I recently built my keyboard, PLW Little the Black, Butter Space Bars, a high pitch noise, metal eye sync, and the upstroke. I already removed the switches on the steps with 250. Any tips? Thanks. <sighs> uh, tiny face and space, thank you so much. For... <laughs> thank you so much for the fire tip. Um, I guess my first question is, are you using PBT keycaps? If you are using PBT keycaps, there's a high chance your spacebar is warped, which contributes to rattle. So you would need to f straighten out your uh, keycap if that's the case. Um, it's, it's hard to diagnose without seeing it in person. I would say either you installed the stabilizer wrong or you didn't lube the stabilizer enough or at the right places. Yeah, hard to say. It could be a lot of things. Uh, yo, I see Kitsune. What's up? Welcome back for three months. Deltronism. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. And Fruit Loop. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. How to fix a warped space... How do you fix a warped space bar? Um, you can do a couple things. You can... Apply heat to it with a hairdryer, if your hairdryer is strong enough, or a heat gun. And then place a lot of heavy stuff on top. Um, and then leave it there for like a night or two. It's probably the easiest way. Whoa! Ham Kenobi, thank you so much for gifting four subs. Thank you, thank you. We have our man Megaforce in chat too. Welcome Megaforce. Alright. Look at this. Wait, what? Is this missing? Oh wow, this screw got borked. What happened here? <laughs> Not sure what happened there, but that's a borked screw. <laughs> um, Not me. <laughs> Not me, I just unscrewed this. But... Yeah, seems pretty even, at least visually, the coating. Okay, so the inside, definitely rough on some parts too. I wonder what causes this rough texture on Cerakote jobs. Ooh, Zekin, hello! Yeah, <laughs> this is a jacked up screw. But... Yeah, aesthetically it looks pretty even. You, you, can't, you can't see the texture, but when you rub your fingers, some parts feel like sandpaper, some parts feel smooth. So that, that, that does happen a lot with Cerakote. Most of the Cerakote boards I've felt tend to have that. So not sure what causes it, but yeah. I believe the sand blasting is what causes it. Oh, I see. I see. Ooh, look at this plate, this plate color. It actually looks pretty nice in person. Ooh.
Ooh, Mr. Joe Cool Bob. Welcome back for 10 months. This looks like a really pretty board. Yeah, I, I believe most people who receive their Reborn 60s are pretty happy with it, I think. I haven't heard anything bad about it, so I'm excited to build it up. Uh, Bakaguya, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Not, ev not evening sandblasted ka because it is a manual process by hand. I see. What plate material? I believe this is aluminum. I could be wrong. Might be brass? I think it's aluminum. Might be brass. Aluminum. Okay, I was right. Is there any board that are 60% with the F? A 60. If you add an F row, that no longer makes it a 60% by default. <laughs> by definition, a 60% does not have at the F row. Whoa, Chordo my score. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Thank you, thank you. I'm back from vacation now, so I'm watching all streams. Ooh, welcome back, Logcog. M. Jarkson, thank you so much for the seven months. Oh, missed one screw. The, these screws are really in there. I'm going to guess this is because the plate was also Cerakoted. Because when you serrate coat, it does add a bit of thickness. That's probably why these screws aren't coming out. Hmm. <laughs> None of these screws want to come out. How to remove these screws? Maybe I should just leave this in here, huh? Yeah, I'll just leave it in. It's not default. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. How's Phil's tasting? It's kind of cold actually already. Oh, it's okay. And Talisman Solutions, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for the three bits. This uses mini. I can't stick for long, I just wanted to stop by. Hello, Samuel Cable. What did you have for dinner tonight? Tonight, I had a meal prepped salad, oh salad with rotisserie chicken. I'm back on that meal prep life, trying to slim down. <laughs> Easy clap, thank you so much for the four months. Alright, let's test this PCB. Tifu's 5 degree broke on stream today, his first time using it. Are you serious? Are you lying? Is that actually true? Wilba, this needs jumpers, solder to choose which LEDs get used. Yeah. Alright, we'll just test it just to be safe. I do believe it was already tested though. Nope, one of the switches popped out and his caps wasn't working properly. 
the key he uses for auto run in Fortnite isn't working. Hmm. I see. That's interesting to hear. Are you making a keyboard for Benji? Uh, yeah, he, he slid into my DMs. I, I talked to him for a little bit today. Um, trying to see what he wants. So that is a possibility. And thank you whoever tagged me. I know their Twitter username, but I don't know what their Twitch username is. Thank you whoever, uh, Whoever made the match happen. Slide into those DMs and show his <laughs> opinions on box royals. Um, I don't see a reason to purchase box royals anymore unless you are on a budget. But I feel like Zelios. Probably for the way to go over box rolls. But box rolls, if you're looking for large tactility, box rolls definitely do provide that. Huh. Are these both? Well, this is a Winkyless build, so we don't need those two keys. Oh my gosh, my eyes are blind. <laughs> um, Pop Reno, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Nawi, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. And Fitzfa, welcome back for two months. Honestly, the guy who got me hooked on keyboards. Love you, man. I love you too, Fitzfa. Two FNs on bottom row. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Mr. Mr. Client, if you are watching, look what happened. <laughs> I think the Reborn 60 was too strong. <laughs> but it's okay, I have extras. <laughs> Ooh, I think this is the most bent. 7 new wire I've ever seen. <laughs> this goes in keyboard gore right here. No biggie. Yeah, th this is actually unusable. I don't even know if you could re-straighten this. If you can re-straighten this to usable state, that's uh, that's some good skills right there, but yeah, I'm, I don't have the skills to do that. Uh, it's not default. Thank you so much for the ninety nine bits. What brand of cables do you use? I have a cables command now. If you guys are ever curious about what cables I use, exclamation cables. All right, let us start clipping these stabilizers. The stab can't rattle if it can't move. <laughs> That's true. Your stabilizer won't rattle if it doesn't move in the first place. Are you gonna lube all the stabs on stream? Uh, today I am. We only have three stabs because we are going split backspace and split right shift. So let's do it on stream. I don't know, do you guys prefer I don't do stabilizers on stream? What does chat like? I've seen you drink coffee in many videos and usually you start drink doing so at the beginning of your video 
I just dream and keep drinking it. One to pipe two. Do you just sip on cold coffee? I do, Naoi. <laughs> By the time. I do sip on cold coffee. <laughs> but I have no choice. I just forget sometimes that I'm that I even have coffee during the stream, so yeah. I do drink cold coffee. It's nice to see these stabs, but when it's 5 a.m. in the UK, it's a different story. I see. <laughs> Gotta get a coffee cup warmer. I should. So with fills, you can bring your own thermos or like a uh, mug. And that even gets you a discount, so I should probably start doing that. But then I would have to like uncap it and recap it every time I drink it on stream. Too lazy. Gotta get a coffee sponsor. So I tweeted once about Phil's. The CEO of Phil's liked my tweet. That's it. Nothing nothing came out of it. <laughs> do you think if I do you think if I tag and bug him every stream I drink their coffee, they will notice me? Should I do that? Should I tag them until they notice me? It could also go poorly and they might just block me. <laughs> they might block me and I would never know if I got blocked. <laughs> what is the best lube? I got thin lube after watching your video. There is no such thing as best lube, G Kiwi Gabe. Um, you have to find what you like. Some people like it thin, some people like it thick. There's no such thing as best lube. Alright, we finished clipping all the stabilizers. I can get some Teja branded coffee thermoses. Ooh. Is it from Hydro Flask though? I haven't tried other thermoses, so I don't know how good other thermoses are. But Hydro Flask has been working pretty well for me. If you have the hookups with Hydro Flask Dixie and you want to Tia Types brand it, no. <clears throat> when Senpai doesn't realize it's your bits. Oh, I'm so sorry. CS Silent Slayer, thank you so much for the 50 bits. I'm kind of on a budget, but should I get cream such as Gator on yellows or save the extra buck for Telios V2s? If you're on a budget, Silent Slayer, I would honestly just recommend Gator on yellows. Gator on yellows are really good switches, uh, even, even disregarding their cheap price. Gator on yellows are a decent linear. Like, I think Telios are smoother, but Gator on Yellows aren't a bad linear in my opinion. So if you if you are on an absolute budget, I would say go for Gator on Yellows. Gator on Yellows have a really nice spring, and you lube the switch up. I mean, it, you lube the switch up and it's pretty nice. Not the best sounding linear, I think there are nicer sounding linears out there, but... For the price, I don't think you can complain. What, what is your time zone? I am Pacific time. Gatoron inks, what about them? Are they good? Gatoron inks, also good switches. Uh, they're fairly popular right now. A lot of people have been enjoying them. They are more expensive though. But Gatoron inks, are basically gator on yellows that sound a little bit nicer but they cost significantly more yo sifo hello heavier springs yes also have different springs yeah They are coming back on Novel Keys. Yeah, I'm, Novel Keys should have Gatoron inks stocked up. If it ever 
goes out of stock i'm pretty sure i feel like moving forward they will continue to stock them uh, gatoron inks have been very well received so far so i feel like mike will continue to stock them evan welcome back for five months Oh man, chat's so active today. Off topic, but what is your graphics card? I am using ooh, a 980 Ti to stream. Both inks and yellows are out of stock. Rip. Are you a fan of the Rama U80? I am a fan. Of, I'm a fan of most Rama products. I think they, I love Rama's aesthetics. Nice relaxing Friday night watching your stream. Thanks for the entertainment. Glad you enjoy my streams, Brohemoth. Would you recommend Holy Pandas for someone who doesn't who doesn't generally like tactile switches? That's a hard question. I mean, if you if you're someone who doesn't like tactile switches. It's hard to say that a certain tactile switch will win you over and make you like tactiles. But Holy Pandas, I would say, are a decent tactile. But yeah, I, I can't really predict whether you'll like it or not. <laughs> I feel like if you generally don't like tactile switches, maybe it's safer to just stick to what you like. But if you want to experiment and venture out, then Holy Pandas wouldn't be a bad choice. <sighs> Holy Pandas versus Zeo V2s for you. I personally I like Holy Pandas better. ZOV 2s are also not bad switches. They're really good tactiles. I think I have a new favorite spring weight. For ZOV 2s, I think I actually like the 62 gram the most. I used to like 65, 67, but I tried 62 recently, like a full build. 62 gram Zelios, actually really nice. Wow, life is good. Sleeping on the watching Nathan stream. <laughs> <laughs> Kuroi, thank you so much for the 11 months. Hope you have a good poop. <laughs> uh, 63.5 is the GOAT. Why aren't you in the current year? <laughs> Filth GG, welcome back for 5 months. One more month and you become a Blue Alps Switch Badge. Have we seen? Oh, no, it's not time for one year yet. Not even Mega Force is one year. What's your favorite weight on Holy Pandas? Uh, I don't mind using. I don't mind using the stock uh, 67 gram spring that they come with. Getting close to one year? Yeah, I am getting close. That's crazy, but I'm about to hit one year soon. What do you recommend using to clean anodized aluminum cases to remove to remove oxidation in the anode? I have no idea. <laughs> I've never tried to remove oxidation in my cases for anno as well, so not too sure. Maybe someone else in chat could help you out with that. Dremel. Ham Kenobi says Dremel. Uh, okay, Dr. Kim, I go to sleep now. Remember to host me on Sunday for the return stream. Ooh, you're streaming on Sunday, Kelly? If it lines up, I'll try.
Do you think Hawko Violets are a good switch? Uh, they're okay. They're not my favorite tactile. They're not bad if you're look Hawko Violet Box Royal. They're they're all switches that provide uh, a rather large amount of tactility, but I feel like. Currently, the king of tactile switches are, if you're just looking for sheer tactility, it's either Zelios or Holy Pandas right now. Excited for you to try them, Ed. Oh, you should you should talk. Have you talked to Whoops? Cause Whoops got a keyboard from me that was built with Holy Pandas. I joined the group by for the Master of Holy Pandas, but it turns out they are prelude on the job. <clears throat> yeah, I've been hearing that. I still don't have my uh, Holy Pandas. It uh, not here. <laughs> so I can't really confirm it. Yeah. I just finished cleaning off the factory loop from all my holy pandas. It was disgusting. Yeah, I feel like people have received uh, mixed, mixed and inconsistent amounts of lube on their switches. What do you think of Matthias hook and bar stabs versus vintage stabs? Um, if you're talking for MX builds, there's no reason to use them in my opinion. Just go with modern GMK or Cherry Stabilizers. But if you're doing an Alps build, Matthias, Matthias Stabs are fine to use. T Longbottom, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. For Alps builds, uh, for Alps builds, yeah, the Matthias Stabs, not too bad. I have built a couple commissions with them. As long, they they seem fine once you tune them. So yeah. Monta dongle. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, do keycaps change the f change the feel of switch or no? I don't think keycaps change the feel of the switch, but they they do change the typing feel because the keycaps are what you touch first. Like you can definitely tell the difference between keycaps, especially if they're different materials or different qualities. But I wouldn't say like a Zelios feels more tactile with a PBT keycap versus a ABS keycap. BK Knox, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome back for four months. SA and Pandas, a good combo. Uh, if you like it, yeah. What's the bottom out weight for vintage blacks? Uh, the stock spring for blacks kind of heavy I forget what the stock uh, bottom out weight for blacks are it's like 80 around 80 I think yeah for a stock black switch uh, Neil visual welcome back for two months and kale dots and welcome back thank you so much for the touch prime so
What genre of music is this? It is jazz. Do you have a competition tomorrow too, Ed? Oh, you said you have one every weekend, right? It's always every weekend. Ooh. Do you get anything for winning these competitions? Like all these weekend stuff, do they have like a prize pool of money? Or do you just get like street cred? Disc El Vato. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. What would you lube Zelios 62 grams with? Um, the, the tactility of the Zelio 62 gram. I actually didn't mind. I felt like it felt slightly less than the 65 and 67 grams that I felt. So I might consider something thinner for 205 than 205 grade zero for Celio's V2. I'd probably leave mine with like Trebosis 3204 probably. Some cash prizes, a badge to flex and bragging rights. Oh, you're playing Vaxi. I know that username. He's been getting a lot of buzz. He's that 15 year old kid or something that that broke the 1000 PP for the first time. Why is that so special though? Haven't they heard of Tea Types who broke the first 2000 PP map? Where's my article on that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay, we need a space for a while. <laughs> Probably not best to talk about <laughs> lube would you use for novel keys cream such as probably 205 grade zero oh because I, I have another question then like this is the first this is the first time someone's broke a thousand pp but is that because no maps existed years ago that were a thousand pp i feel like the pps of maps are just increasing as well right like was there were there 1000 pp maps like two years ago or like a year ago like well, how yes oh so no one's so there were 1000 pp maps before it's just no one broke it until now mm, interesting see a silent slayer thanks so much for the 15 bits uh, I'm only on a budget because I won the raffle for the key cult number one, but I would like the best linear switch I can get for them, no matter the price. If you want the best linear switch, uh, technically speaking, there were maps that were worth 1k PP, but they were so abnormally and stupidly difficult that nobody could set the score. Uh, um, back to your question, see it, Silent Slayer. If you're looking for the absolute best linear switch, depends on what you prioritize, right? If you're prioritize absolute smoothness and telios i think are the way to go uh, gator on inks not a bad choice if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of smoothness for better sound so yeah mm, okay so I, I so i so i that makes sense i get now i understand why he's getting so much buzz so like as a community people are just also generally getting better because my my understanding was like this was like there weren't 1000 PP maps before and then this was the first time it got released and then someone broke it. But that makes sense if there did exist 1000 PP maps 
but no one's broke it until now. That makes sense. That's cool. That's cool to see. So why didn't no one break it until now? Taxima, hello. What about Lube Command? Uh, what about your? What about it, Sergey? Serg Egel? What would you like to know? What should my next keyboard be? Sifo asks. I don't know, Sifo. Uh, Bauer looks pretty nice. Polaris, pretty cheap and nice. Thermal looks pretty exciting too. <laughs> What's your favorite loo for linears? 205 grade zero. It's my personal favorite. But that doesn't mean you will like it. Nor does it mean it is a better lube than what's out there. It's just what I like. Teha, you got any recommendations for a winkyless 60% Alps build? Oh no, chat. <laughs> Ed's diving into Alps. <laughs> How do we. What do we tell him? <laughs> Um, win keyless, sixty percent Alps. I don't know. Uh, I don't think you can do if if you can do that. It's gonna be really expensive. I think. Does the Alps sixty? F you bought sixty brown Alps. When did what you didn't tell me, Ed? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of monies. <laughs> Bistro went straight to 60. I'll check my Discord, I'm so sorry. Holy, he went. This guy bought 60 brown Alps. Uh, are there 60% are there PCBs that support wind keyless? There is no PCB in stock that supports this, so you would have to find a used one or a second-hand one. Uh, Pal okay, Paladin 64. Okay, Tyson says the Paladin 64. So Paladin 64 is a 60% uh, Alps PCB, but not many Paladin 64s were made, so you can try making a mech market post for that. Then you would need to get a custom Alps plate made as well. Um, Alps 64 does not support wind keyless layout though, I believe. Yeah. Oh, Solid Snake Drive has a Paladin 64 for Beast Troll. Pog. Yeah, so, so the thing is, there aren't many Winkeyless 60% keyboards out there, I think. I'm not sure what, what Winkeyless 60% are out there that you can purchase. Other than the upcoming Polaris. Does the East... Mm, Sirius? Well, Sirius, you can no longer purchase. Look at the caps Ed got. Okay, fine, I'll check Discord. Wait, where'd he post it? In mod chat? Oh my gosh. Yo, what the heck? Ed, how do you know about these keycaps? Where did you find these keycaps? How do you know about these keycaps? Ed is too OP. He has learned too much. How did you find those keycaps? <laughs> You brought you, what? 
You bought Brown Alps for 270 each? That's a steal. Unless they're like trash condition. 270 for Brown Alps is pretty cheap. Hopefully you didn't get scammed. Um, Ed has sourced some IBM 5140 keycaps on his own. Oh man, Ed's grown up too much. He doesn't need me anymore. He just knows. He just knows IBM 5140 supports win keyless 60%. He has left the nest. Um, I'm on the newer side of the hobby and I never figure out the purpose of win keyless. The purpose of win keyless is solely for aesthetics. <laughs> Um, it's it's for aesthetics and it's also um, paying homage to vintage keyboards because uh, back in the day the Windows key didn't exist so vintage keyboards a lot of them tend to be win keyless but most modern keyboard enthusiasts per like win keyless for the aesthetics. Yeah, I saw it. Um, yeah, you, it seems like someone can sell you a PCB. Finding a case is the hard part though. Finding a case with files you can make yourself. You would need to get a custom plate made. Yeah. Electro rug, thank you so much for the two bits. But the function of the button is still there. Yes, so just because you build a win keyless keyboard does not mean you can't input the Windows key with that keyboard. Um, most custom keyboards are fully reprogrammable. So what a lot of people do is they just program the Windows key somewhere else. Where do you program your Windows key on win keyless? So when I do win keyless builds, I make caps lock my control. My left control becomes the Windows key and alt stays as alt. I never use caps lock, so I get rid of caps lock. What are rules to lubing switches? Like what could you use instead of the branded lube Crytox? Um, if you don't want to use Crytox or Trebosis, I mean, you could technically use anything as long as it's plastic safe. Yes, but why? Thank you so much for the 50 bits. While we were talking layouts, any full-size boards or full-size minus F-Row that I can recommend to a friend because he doesn't want a 96 or an 1800 layout. Well, there was the Cypher that just ran. So he's missed out on, he or she missed out on that. Unfortunately. There aren't many f row -less full sizes, nor full-size boards. Like the only full-size board I can think off the top of my head would be the Topra Real Force 104 or the Mountain. If you can find a Mountain. Teha has ruined me. By... <laughs> so when I when I built Ed's keyboard, I sent him a bunch of switches that I had lying around. And I sent him two brown alps. But I purposely told him each Brown Alps goes for around four bucks a piece. And that was to discourage him from venturing into Alps. But it had the opposite effect. <laughs> and he's going into Alps. <laughs> Shouldn't have sent him? Yes, sirs. I should have just saved my eight bucks. 
I could have sold those two brown ops for eight bucks. <laughs> I sent him like two of each zeal switch. That's two bucks per zeal switch I sent. I sent him one of every zeal switch. We're doing only three stabs today. And we are building them with novel keys, cream switches that were lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero. I don't want to get into Alps. Can you send me some to make sure they are? <laughs> Whoa, Jayun, welcome back for 10 months. How are you doing? It's not default. Thank you so much for 100 bits. Sorry, I can't stick around any more than four hours of sleep for an 11 hour shift. Hope you make it live. Thank you for stopping by. S oh right, one oh. Th there's a there's the TX full size. That's another full size you can purchase. There we go. Basketball shorts and a button up. Hell yeah. E. Uh, that is dope. Hello. Don't forget the phone. Yes, I know. I'm just testing the stab first. Uh, CS Silent Slayer, thanks so much for the five bits. What are the pros and cons between Gat Inks and MK Creams? Pros and cons. You know, so I've tried a lot of creams. I might say Gatteron Inks are marginally smoother. I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> My creams have varied in smoothness depending on the batch. Or like when I purchased them, I mean, um, the creams I felt from other people have also varied in smoothness. I felt some really smooth creams. Some have been still good, but could have been better. But yeah, um, Gatoron inks have a better spring. That's about the only pro for Gatoron inks, I think. I'm not sure if I, I, I might like the sound of creams more than inks, to be honest. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. I haven't played around enough with sound or done enough scientific testing. I think sound wise, I do prefer creams. And a mouthful of dollars. Welcome back for three months. And who's Jeremiah? Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right. Spacebar could use a little more, but the right shift enter sound pretty nice. Oh, okay. Now the now the screws start to come out, huh? I have to be careful not to lose these screws because one just came out. Pumpkin, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Are you hyped to be able to retire, hyperfuse, and use GMK Fisher? 
Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, just the space bar needs to be retuned, just needs a little bit more. Then we should be good to start building and soldering. Why do you have xylence as a linear? MX xylence are a linear which are different from zeal xylence. That's why they are listed as a linear. Just need a little bit more. Emerald, hello. to head out to a bar to hang out with a friend who's from out of town. I'll probably be back in a bit. Thanks for building the board for me. Have a good one, Tyson. Don't get too drunk. What's the most underrated cheap TKO case on the market right now? The only cheap TKO case on the market right now is the KBD Mark, the KBD 8X. I think, are there any? I don't think there's any other budget TKO. <laughs> the only budget TKO literally is the KBD 8X. XD87? Oh, that's true. Okay, so now we can move on to the build. Before we do, we have something special today. Sent some foam from MK Ultra, who's a recent vendor person, and they have been selling some foam that you can put in your keyboards. So let's see what we get in the package. So this is their logo, MK Ultra. They sent us a coaster, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, ooh, also some stickers. What could possibly go wrong? So yeah, M MK Ultra's whole like branding image, very very edgy, kind of kind of spooky, Illuminati, Area Fifty One. I feel like MK Ultra might be at the Area 51 raid, who knows? Definitely gonna be there. But we even we even get some some uh, mystery reports. Declassified and approved. Mm, no idea what this says. CIA says it has new details of its drug tests on humans. Okay. I love Thai how types so on the Thai how types so accessories. Christmas game. I'll come back for nine months. Yeah, kind of spooky stuff. The uh, the paper was nice. I'll probably read it later. But this is what they actually sell. So they currently offer 
um, you can get like custom foams cut and this is supposed to go in between the PCB and plate and the idea behind this is that it should hopefully mute the noise a little bit more I think oh wow you we were sent two okay and then you can also get products like these which are supposed to go on the bottom underneath the plate so this would sit between the PCB and the case the bottom of the case Wow, I got sent four of these. I don't even own that many 60%. And then we just have some standard foam. Also, oh, these are for TKLs. Ooh. Yeah, so I, I personally asked for some TKL ones. So we'll see if I use this in future TKL builds. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we're going to be using one of these for Mr. Client. The thing is though, I have no idea if this provides benefit because we won't be doing a scientific test of them. Who knows, it might work, it might not work. Oh, this is actually really thick. So yeah, this should definitely fill up the space between your plate and PCB. Mm. So far, I, it seems pretty well cut. I can't, I mean, it's hard to tell with the naked eye, but yeah, it seems pretty decently cut actually. I mean, this isn't this isn't your plate, so oh, it's supposed to be like this. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, pretty well cut. All right, so we're supposed to put this first. Ooh, ooh, la la! Look at this. Don't you worry about spacebar stab? What do you what do you mean by spacebar stab? There's a cutout for the wire to sit. All right, we're gonna have to be somewhat careful. Let me take these switches out first. on top whoa well this is cool and then he, oh shoot okay came off hmm, that's not too bad it got cut pretty precisely to the layout we are going to build not too bad not too bad we are going split backspace and split right shift so that's what you're seeing Okay, and then you would. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, and you can see. Oh. It fills up the entire space, the empty space. Does this have a legitimate effect? Can't say. Because we won't be doing an exactly similar build of this without the foam. So no way to really tell. Zanier, hello, good evening. Good evening.
I have to push down pretty hard when soldering to the plate. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually press down on every switch, so not too much of a worry. According to MK Ultra website, foam is meant to compress 0 0.5. Hmm. Yeah, it, it does seem really thick. Like at least, um, at least from this view, like you can hardly see the pins peeking through. So you're gonna have to make sure when you solder, you definitely push down on it, so that you compress the foam a little bit. with a flexi polycarbonate plate the plate would not like that hmm yeah trying to compress this with a polycarbonate plate seems kind of hard what key is it if you're asking about the switch this is using cream switches from novel keys Does the store sell Varmillo switch? What is a Varmillo switch? Does Varmillo have their own OEM switch? They do. Did not know that. <laughs> Did not know Varmillo sold their own proprietary switch. Armillo's releasing a foam and foil. What? Is this Scar's board? Nope. The title says tomorrow. Tomorrow is Scar's build. Tomorrow and eat. <laughs> Freaking Coroy. <laughs> uh, what do you do for a living? I am a software engineer when I am not on stream. before Scara hosts tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if Scara is going to watch, to be honest. I didn't really... That's not, that's not like something you really ask for. <laughs> if, it, if it happens, it happens, but Scara is a busy man. What softwares you mad LMAO? I don't know. I don't really get angry about software. I don't know. What softwares you made? Don't I know? I, I haven't made anything, I, I would say. Oh no. Oreo milkshake, welcome awesome. back. Welcome back for the five months. Okay, so this foam is very thick. So when are you quitting your job, Nathan? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. What are your thoughts on modem switches and their sound, especially with their price? You know, I miss Mod M tactile switches. I feel like we're gonna start seeing them coming back. I feel like people are going to get... 
tired of all these insanely tactile switches. I feel like ergo clears, modem tactile, they're gonna come back. I miss the days of less tactile switches. MX Browns, you're gonna come back too? Yeah. Uh, I personally really liked modems, especially when I would. You definitely need to lube modems though. I would never use modems as a stock switch. Lucifer, welcome back for two months. And before your boss seizes and says, Nani. <laughs> Love my MK Ultra Foam combined with brass plate and Xylus V278 gram. Nice. Yeah, it seems pretty well cooked for now. I, I feel like it might be a bit too thick. I feel like they could have made it a little bit thinner so I could compress it less. Knock on, I'm thinking about making my Xylance V2s into MX Xylance. MX Xylance are a really nice silent linear switch. Extremely soft bottom out. What if Zeal came out with Zelios V1 Reborn to compete with Mod M? Uh, I, don't, I don't think Zeal really needs to compete with mod M's. Uh, mod M, the mod switches in general aren't all that popular. So I, yeah, Zeal, Zeal V1's definitely probably sold way more than mod M's ever did, if I had to bet. Yeah, mod switches weren't too popular before, even before all these crazy switches came out. What is in the middle of the PCB and the plate? A piece of foam from MK Ultra. All right, we were sent one extra switch, nice. Perfect. You had one video with lubed modems and I don't understand how you got them to sound so good. You know, same. <laughs> What are switch films used for? Switch films are used to reduce uh, switch housing wobble, which direct which com uh, which contributes to switch top wobble. Yo, Senor Uzma, I know who you are. Hello, hello. Oh, this is gonna require a lot of comp. This is so thick. I feel like this is unnecessarily thick. It could have been made thinner. Yeah, this is this is dummy thick. Look at how thick this is. Like you can barely see the switch pins. So I'm going to have to compress it when I solder. <laughs> this is really thick. Can you test the stabs before you solder for sound difference? What do you mean, Saturn? You want me to take off these switches again without the foam? <laughs> I, I just put all these on here. <laughs> Where do I get this magical foam from? A place called MK Ultra. Let's 
see how much Oh my gosh, you really can't compress this all that much. way too thick. MK Ultra if you're watching, I think this is too thick. <sighs> Professional Twitch viewer, welcome back for three months. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Even when I press down, there's like not enough, there's like barely any switch pin available for me to solder. <laughs> and there's like, like hardly any solder for switch pin. shaking more than usual. Um, professional Titch for you, welcome back for three months. And Lucifer, thank you so much for two months. Sorry if I missed you guys. <sighs> Let me show you guys. Can you guys see how much switch pin there is? It's not a lot, even even fully compressed. Look at how little switch pin I have. <laughs> it's not a lot of switch pin for me to solder. <laughs> but hopefully this means it'll help mute the sound more. I don't know. Wait, is the plate the wrong way? What do you mean, plate is right way? The plate is correct. The screw, no, so this screws like this. Yeah. No, oh, the screws are right. <sighs> Let's go. Let's work on the other side.
attacked. It's definitely too thick. Maybe you need to get some clamps. I should buy third. I should buy a third arm, huh? Do you have any good recommendations, Wilbur? I should get a. Th like, where would you? How would you clamp it? Would you just clamp the switches and the PC together? It's okay, this is a good workout. I'm sweating. I'm burning calories. I am sweaty. My room is also hot in general. Well, what happened? Thankfully this is a 60% so not too many switches to solder. This ain't Asian Andy? What's Asian? Who's Asian Andy? Are you excited for number two revision one? Heck yeah, homie for weeks. Definitely excited. Is there a point to doing the band-aid modifier using plate mounted stabs? Nope, plate mounted stabs do not benefit from the body mine. You should watch the Verge keyboard video. That's old. I've already seen it. One row done.
look at how thick this is. <laughs> I don't know, that's the best I could compress with my hands. It's like barely any switch pin. <laughs> Alright. Three and a half more rows to go. Watch should have no discernible difference. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. <sighs> Do you think it's a good idea to mix yawks, yawk, mint pandas, with retold blacks on the same board? Uh, if that's what you like. Hopefully you mean have like one switch on the mods, another switch on the alphas. If you're mixing switches within alphas and mods, that's questionable. I'm about to drive three hours to my parents' house and need some coffee. Well, that's so late, Ham Kenobi. Hope you have a safe drive. Right. Sorry if I go silent today because got a lot of pressing down to do. Are there different sizes for this? Thicknesses? Hopefully there's different thicknesses, right? I don't I don't see everyone using this if this is the same. There's thinner, okay. I would say if there's a thinner size, probably get the thinner one. Unless you don't care about pressing down one side a little bit. This one is definitely too thin. Oh, was I sent thinner ones? No, I was only sent two. This one looks pretty thick too. Yeah, I think I got sent two of the two. Ones. Oh, 
I really hope you did. Freaking Kuroi. Last full row. Jay Nit, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Would I get a fan to suck the solder vapors away? I have a link to all my gear in one of my panels. Where you can do exclamation gear in chat to see what gear I use. There's Womit on his sweat. What? Almost done. Boys and girls. What do you think of Cherry MS Claire's with Otemu houses? Probably scratchy. <laughs> I'm not too big a fan of Otemu switches. Oh, last switch. Half the switches don't work. You're mean, Kuroi. You know that. Kuroi is a real mean. Let me just check that I put built it with the correct caps lock. Normal, normal caps. Yes. We are going normal caps. All right, let us test for straightness. Are you live every day this? Oh, am I live this? Yes, I am live every day this week. <laughs> Lightning, hello. Still 
sounds decently loud. <laughs> I don't know what what scientifically this foam is supposed to do. Is it supposed to dampen the noise, mute the noise? I don't know, it sounds pretty loud though still. <laughs> Where am I? It's supposed to sound more dense. We'll see if it sounds more dense. Feel when none of the switches. That'd be a. We'd be in trouble if that's the case. Let's see how straight these mods are. Caps lock is straight. Is my shift put on properly? Uh, shift could be a little bit Oh, it's shift needs straightening for sure. Pretty straight. Is the split backspace straight? One of them is, one of them is not. new to custom keyboards is there's anything i can do about the rattling space bar on the vortex poker uh, you can try following my guide on eliminating stab rattle but you might need to desolder your board i'm not sure yeah you probably have to desolder it Great on this. We have some warning for you, Soran. Oh my gosh. Pipe key slightly not straight. Is there any reasonably way to do it without these? You can try squeezing lube in through whatever holes are open, but it might be hard.
Oh, I thought another screw came out, it did not. Six Mazers, why are you awake? You shouldn't be awake, Mazers. It's past your bedtime. Enter. Oh, it's straight. I lied. All right, looks pretty straight. Let's enter straight. this shift so much no enter is not straight slightly off oh right shift also not straight And key also not straight. straight now right shift wasn't seated uh, are you just adding heat and moving the switch to the right position? Yes, that is what I'm doing, Duis Vuitton. Alright, let's see how well we solder. Okay, looks like that works for now. Alright, moment of truth. going to guess this is not programmed in by default. I don't know if Wilbur is still here. <laughs> Kuroi just wants to watch me fail. <laughs> this might be a these two might be F N. It should be, but I don't know what was flashed on it. So these two currently don't register. Oh, wait, did that do something? Okay, so this is F N. So this is F N key for sure. This doing thing. Flash latest hex and use via. Is there a default hex? Where can I get? Do I have to make a hex? Oh, I can do this off stream. The important keys work. It is getting late for a lot of people, so I'll do that off screen. I gotta, I gotta sleep early too, and prepare for tomorrow's stream. Because tomorrow's stream is gonna, hopefully, it's a big stream. It might be a normal stream. Who knows? 
Am I Tay Keyboards? No, I'm not. I do talk to Tay Keyboards, but we are different Tays. Tay Keyboards is named Tay for a different reason than I am. <laughs> Tay Keyboards is also the bigger YouTuber. I am just a small, small, low tier YouTuber compared to Tay Keyboards. He's a nice guy though, I talk to him quite. Not super regularly, but I do talk to him. I am I am in a server with him, so he's a nice guy. Where's Taeha from? Taeha is my uh, Korean name, but Tae is not Tae's name. Will the subathon be on August fourth for your one year? If August fourth is, it's gonna it's going to be the first weekend of August. I don't know if that's August fourth. No, so Tay keyboards and Tay Ha types are different. We just happen to both start with Tay. But yeah, we are different. Uh, Cozy Fanatuti, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. All right, let us assemble this case. Uh, Spooky Illy, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. You can't celebrate the one year with me. Oh no, are you going somewhere on that first weekend? Oh. Hmm. Okay, slight dilemma. The foam, as you can see, is a little bit wider than the plate and PCB. Should I just squeeze it in? Because the foam is... I guess I, had, I just have to push it in, right? Please don't break. Oh, but yeah, you can see the foam's like too... Th this foam's too thick. I'm gonna need a flathead. Luckily, this is Cerakoted, so I won't damage the coating all that much. This foam is- Dixie, you're still up! It's so late for you. Yeah, this foam's too thick. At least for this case, I don't know if it- It probably will work better in universal 60%, I would assume. Like if someone put this on the Fial or Unicorn or not Unicorn, but yeah, the Fial or Clipe, maybe it might work better. But at least for this case, definitely too thick. All right, I think that's good. Some 205 will fix it. <laughs> you want me to lube the foam? <laughs> That's a pretty papega move. Well, I, I don't, I'm not gonna cut it because this is not my board. I will leave that up to the client to cut it if they want. I'll just shove it in for now. Okay. Screw it in. Do we even have space for a bottom foam for this? No, there's no, uh, we can try, we can try. Mm, one night. 
Ooh, it fits decently well. There's a little bit of horizontal movement, but not too bad. Pretty good. Yeah, so this is all from MK Ultra. And the cutout is for the reset button, I'm going to assume. Is that even like nope, it's not line up. <laughs> Might as well go crazy and kill all feel and sound. <laughs> yeah, the reset button does not line up with this, but that's okay. Creams do sound a little hollow, so I feel like maybe it might be good to just kill all sound with this. Two Houstonians realizing they live near each other. Yeah, this is this foam to just erase all person. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might put this in my whale. I'm thinking of building my whale up with some Krellbos. So the whale sounds whatever, at least from what I've heard acoustically so I might just kill all sound in the wheel <laughs> crass song hello welcome back for two months I think you think or three months sorry X illicit, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Alright, I think all the screws are Oh shoot. You should be the cooking videos. Nokito, thank you so much for 300 bits. Cooking videos? Why cooking videos? <laughs> this looks pretty. Tyson, I feel like this keyboard was meant for GMK Darude. I don't know how color matched this is to GMK Sandstorm, but I don't know, it seems pretty close. Pretty close. Spank it. <laughs> You want a keyboard spink? Oh, Croy has a point. Let's see if it gets any rid of any reverb. Not a lot of reverb. Yeah, definitely doesn't sound hollow. We need to put keycaps on. Alright, I'm going to make executive decision. We're going to put 9009 on this. Horror Rider, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Wait, what happened? What? Wait, Rono Ronocto, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. And Spooky Illy, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Whoa, thank you so much. Yeah, I have a special, special uh, alert for when Mr. Spooky Man stops by. <laughs> what was that for? It's for every time Mr. Japanese Horror Rider donates. I have a special alert for him. Guys, on it again. <laughs> I 
Has he ever said anything in chat? Nope, Mr. Spooky Man has never spoken in chat. I don't know if he ever has on any keyboard channel. How do you like PBT caps? I like PBT caps. Dang, I regret not having custom banderol for 9009. Ooh, well you can fix that, Dixie, with 9009 round three. Yo, look who it is, Young Tilla, hello. Welcome back for four months, thank you, thank you. Is this PBT or ABS? This is ABS. All most GMK keycaps. No, all GMK keycaps are ABS, I think. Ah, yes. My GMK 9009 is borked. Mine did not come with a tab. <laughs> so I have to use. Small delete. SMH. Dixie's a sponsor and he sent out a defective set to me. I'm just kidding. Hopefully in round two you can get an extra tab. Uh, whoa, Dixel, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Kremit. Use the mod pipe as tab. What? You want me to use this as tab? That's the wrong color then. It's not the right color, Lightning. Oh, mod pipe. Uh, I guess I could, but I I have a I have two small deletes. I could just do this double small delete or backspace. Sorry. That's what I've done in all my... Yeah, cause no, cause it comes standard with the small, one of these. But my tab came with this instead of tab. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, I bought, so I bought two sets of GMK9009. And I used one for like a good year. Or I don't know how long. So I, I cause I, I was planning on just using one to daily drive and then like one to like keep nice and shiny and then I needed money so I sold the one I was using. So I opened up this which was my second set after a year or so of me purchasing it and then it was too late. <laughs> uh, TWAP, thank you so much for giving a sub to Overarch. Wouldn't it be facing the tab direction? Well, then the profile's wrong. It is, there's a profile, so the, yeah, it'd be off. But having no tab makes this kit special. I'm pretty sure this is a one of one GMK9009 round two set. Who wants to purchase this one of one GMK9009 set? Ooh, cream sound nice. 700 for one off nines. That's not technically false. This is a one off. Seven years. Be my mission to get your replacement. It's fine. I, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind it. Uh, we need the two keys here. And pipe. All right. So what to do for escape and enter? 
What should we do? Which which way do we go, guys? Wait, what? Who turned on? How does how is this working? Did a mod turn this on? Wait, wait, why is this showing? Why is this working? This shouldn't be turned on. Huh. Both pink? Pink for escape? Pink escape green enter. Why what? Uh, why is this enabled? Okay, it's off. That should not work anymore. Let me go red escape. And then green enter. Will this satisfy you guys? Green enter. I am satisfied. Both pink. Pink enter. I feel I think I'm seeing more yeses than no. Ray just made a straw poll. Well then, I guess we can vote on Ray's straw poll. Pink is actually winning. Hmm. Do we go all pink then? I think all pink wins. So we're gonna go all pink. Time for bed, good stream. I'll see you tomorrow, Dixie. Sorry the stream took long. <laughs> we can we can talk tomorrow. wants all pink. <sighs> all right, are we ready for the final product? Ta -da! Here we have the Reborn 60 with the custom Cerakote. Is the plate also? So yes, it is boy underscore pie. It was Cerakote with a custom pink mix. Side profile. The side profile. Oh, it's hard. 
not too bad. I think I, I feel like this side profile, they just took the koala curve and then they try to make it different. I would say this is different enough. I do think the koala side profile looks better though. But overall, the Reborn 60 looks pretty nice, pretty nice. So it is using USB mini because this is using a Zeal 60 revision 2. Thankfully, it has a massive port. And it's got the custom green Cerakoted weight. And then Benelli sand for this base color. Not too bad. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a greenish color. Maybe it looks greener here. I think these colors are more accurate. So the reborn weight, kind of cool. I like the lines. I do like the lines. I would say a beige set goes pretty well with this. It looks pretty nice, actually. This looks really nice. I think it does complement the beige pretty well. This is a pretty nice color. Pretty nice. In the back. Side profile. Alright, let's weigh this. This keyboard, not too heavy. Not too heavy actually. It's definitely got heft though. I, I personally would not travel with this. It's pretty these What? Did my weight just die? Ooh, three pounds. Three pounds for a sixty percent. One thousand three hundred seventy four. Wait, where's the Z on your keyboard? The Z is right here. Yeah, so three pounds, pretty respectable for a 60%. Definitely not a light keyboard, given its size. All right. Can we get the worst per minute bot started mods? Ooh, Mazer's on top of it. You can see the RGB peeking through with that Zeal 60. It's for the YouTube screenshots. Ooh, it looks a little too lewd for YouTube. Young Tilla says 146. <laughs> that's, that's high hopes. built with uh, Novel Keys Cream switches lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero by the customer. And they are using the stock springs. So let's see what this sounds like. Let's do the minutes typing test. Have you seen iGumdrops typing? Yo, Jamie is fast. <laughs> she is a fast typist. I wish I could type like her. Use a Dracula theme. colorway alt t ah there we go i want to hear this three two one what do we do uh, we do 
No, I don't want. Oh, this is backspace. We have a one new backspace right here. All right, read the redo. Oh, caps lock is on. Read the redo. Gosh, 108. That was not good. <laughs> that was not a good run. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't. Some. The visuals of typings, I'm not used to. Alright. Okay, 120 this time. 120. Your typing sucks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, oh, Kuroi gifted five dollars. Can I recommend Kieber to you? Your typing. S Damn, Kuroi said my typing sucks. Feels bad. Okay, let's see what the mods sound like. How do you guys like this board? The ZXCV row feels stiffer than the ASDF row. I wouldn't say. Mm, if it is, it's like very minimal. I don't know. I can't really tell. I'm just kidding. It's stiffer here, yeah. 
Yeah, eight, the home rule feels slightly less stiffer than here. It's very firm here. But you can, it's slightly softer here. Was this foam, did it change anything? I don't know, can't really say. Can't really say. <laughs> Let me redeem myself. Oh shoot, we have the typing god in chat. Chuvies, thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream went well. Oh no, the typing god is going to watch me fail on 10 fast fingers now. All right, let's see. How well can you type with this? Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. This this one new space bar throws me off. so bad. Don't type well with this. Don't type well with this for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, typing feel wise is pretty stiff. I mean, just feels like a top mount keyboard. Creams, I like creams. I think it's I think the creams sound decent. In this case, I mean in this case the creams sound pretty nice. Sorry, that's what I meant. Uh CS Silent Slayer, thanks so much for 30 bits gonna head out now. I'm going to Florida. Have a great night. I love your content. It was a great stream. Thank you for slogging by CS Silent. And Knet, welcome back for four months. Yeah. I do like this. 3160 sounds pretty nice. Ooh, Chinese Pa, hello, hello, I'm on my dank new phone. Oof. MK Ultra isn't here in the chat. He's here. Oh, MK Ultra, hello. MK Ultra, I, what thickness foam did you send me for the sixty percent? It was really thick. <laughs> it was really thick. I'm not sure if other people would like this thickness, but the cutouts were pretty nice. It was cut out really well. I thought the cutouts were pretty good. Um, yeah, it's just really. Th at least the one I had, it was really thick. Even while pressing down really hard, while Oh shoot. <laughs> Chubies, thank, you. thank you so much for the 30 bits. 300 bits. I'm not a speedy boy, Chubies. That is a dis if you call me a speedy boy, that's disrespect to you. But yeah, I, I, it was cut out really nice. I think you did a great job with that MK Ultra. Just curious what the spread is for the thickness that people purchase. Cause this one is too thick. But I feel like if the if yeah, the thinner one might probably sell better. Reborn 60? Pretty good. How much was this at group buy? I don't know how much the Reborn 60 retailed for. This is not a bad board at all. I, I actually really like the acoustics of this. Uh, 
I have an announcement to make about that thickness. Okay. Around 280. 280. It's not super expensive. Yeah, this is... It's definitely a firm bore, so if you guys are about that firm typing experience, this is it. Bring back the music. Alright. I've been talking to someone about it and they took calipers to the foam they received. It was just under 4.5 meters, not 4 millimeters. That's really thick. Yeah, I, I mean, I tried, I was pushing down really hard while soldering and there was still like barely any, like I barely had any um, of the switch pin to solder onto. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, uh, it was cut out really well. I like that you cut it to the specific layout we built for this too. As for whether it makes a difference, I do not know. Uh, we haven't scientifically compared two exact builds so can't really say but yeah it was cut out well so i think if people are looking to build with this assuming they get a thinner one it shouldn't be too hard to build with yeah all right so tomorrow tomorrow we're going to be building a keyboard for the League of Legends OG veteran TFT God Skara. So hopefully you guys can tune in tomorrow, 3:30 p.m. Pacific time. And then Sunday, we're gonna reveal the Bower from Dixie Mech. I do have the Bower in my hands, so we're gonna be building that up. We have a packed weekend, guys. So hopefully you guys can tune into both. Uh, yeah, any final questions, comments, concerns? I'm gonna run an ad. Hopefully that's okay. How do I tell if an ad is running? Is there a way to tell? Are you guys okay with ads? Is an ad running? How do I know? Are people being hit with an ad? Oh, well, I guess they wouldn't be able to tell, huh? Is an ad running? How do you know? <laughs> if chat goes sub only... Wait, what? You only get an ad if you're... Oh, I just got an ad. Okay, well, I guess the ad worked. When I click run ad, it won't let me because... Okay, I think I think one is running, yeah. All right. Mm. All right, hopefully everyone enjoyed tonight's stream. Okay, who can we raid? Who can we raid? Who can we raid? Ooh, Airzax is online. Uh, should we ra raid Airzax? We can raid Airzax? Dumplings? Mr. Sardosh? Or we can raid Joey? Joey Taco... Joey... Cow. Let's go raid Erzak. Uh, if you guys don't know who Erzak is, Erzak voiced Genos in the American One Punch Man. He's a voice actor. He was at Streamer Camp. He voiced Genos, American version. Yeah. It's our first time raiding him. Let's say you guys know the classic. Show us your show us your keyboard. 
That's what we're gonna spam in his chat. Let's go show him some love. Yeah, I need to go prep for tomorrow's stream. I have a couple switches to lube up for the rest of the night. <laughs> so let's go show Erzak some love. So I will see you guys all tomorrow, okay? Thank you guys for stopping by today. So until tomorrow, see ya nerds.